Hello my hobby friends, welcome back to the Monday Corner. If you remember last year we transformed a corner into a blank canvas ready for us to start a container garden this year. I will link the video somewhere for you to click on if you want to watch the transformation process. There is a lot for us to do so let's just jump straight into it. What's a container garden without containers? Here are a few that we're having to drill extra holes in for adequate drainage. I haven't had to spend a fortune on containers. I managed to get my hands on a few good deals in the sales last year, including a kiddies swimming pool sand pit, which was only nine pounds, which was cheaper than people were selling used on Facebook. I did have some plant pots on my wish list and I did get them for Christmas, which was 10 times 30 litre pots for my potatoes. And then I also have buckets left over from last year and a few of the containers have been inherited. As this is my first year of actual gardening, I've learned and learning a lot from other YouTubers and TikTokers. And now I'm rinsing these containers with an organic dish soap and rinsing them out to make sure they're clean and I'm not spreading disease. Plus all these recycling bins were found at my dad's and he was using them to store all sorts of things, plastics, metals. So I thought it's best that I give it a wash before I plant food in them. I still need a few more containers. I am going to pick up a few more buckets from P&Q for a pound each as these are a good size for many different plants and very budget friendly. Okay, I have a couple of jokes. Why did the container never get into arguments? Because it always kept a lid on things. Why did the plant pot start a YouTube channel? Because it wanted to show the world its potential. After having scrubbed and cleaned all these containers, it's now the hard task of filling them all. Some of the compost I have is from my dad's, some from last year, but most of it I ordered from my local garden centre who deliver. So if you're in Gloucestershire, Worcestershire or Herefordshire, there's a chance they'll deliver to you as well. It was handy as I ordered over 600 litres, which sadly isn't enough and I need to order more. Oh, and the garden centre is called Norton, if that's any use to you. I bought a selection of different composts for different plants. So we have a normal compost for vegetables. I bought some topsoil and manure to mix in together. I have some seed mix. All of these, I'll be doing different mixtures for different plants to see how it goes. And I'm not topping any of the containers to the brim to full because I want there to be enough room so next year I can mix in my own homemade compost to refresh and rejuvenate the soil for next year's crops. This is an example of me mixing the compost and soils. So I'm starting with a seed cutting mix and I'm topping it off with some manure, some topsoil and then some more compost. Oh, and some sand so it's not sticky. I'm mixing it all together this is for my carrots, so I wanted the soil to be fine. So I get straight carrots, hopefully. That's the idea anyway.
just going to show you a clip of me potting up some of my seeds into trays. I've never done this before. I'm using a, a coconut kind of expandable soil for these seeds because it's very fine and very light. And um, I'm using seed trays which I got from Shein, which I have showed you in a previous video of my gardening supplies haul. So check that out if you want to see. Also, um, who knew seeds could be so small? Mint seeds. Oh my god, just tiny specks of dust. Blew my mind when I was trying to plant these. They haven't emerged yet, but I still hold hope. Why did the acorn go to school? Because it wanted to grow up to be a tremendous success. Why did the seed become a comedian? Because it could really grow on the audience. I still have a lot of seeds to plant. This is only March's. I still got a lot to do in April. In fact, most of my seeds are to be sown in April, outside when the weather's much warmer. Now for the most exciting part, giving you guys the tour, showing you my seeds and how the garden's looking. Welcome to my porch. This is where I am germinating my seeds. This shelf I got from Ikea, it was probably the cheapest one, it's also recommended for outside. So when these seeds are big enough and the weather's nice enough, I will move this shelf outside and let them get used to it before planting them in the ground. Well, containers anyway. Um, not much to show you at this minute. I've got my strawberries in there, my green beans, my sunflower seeds, my herbs, they're all attempt to grow. Some onion seeds are there. This one is my husband's, which is a tea bag. He wants to get some chamomile flowers out of it. And the plant on the end is a carnivorous fly catching plant that we always have out in the porch. It's just on the shelf to look neater. My jazzy potatoes are chitting in the window. To show you that my sunflowers have come up in the last day as well as some strawberries there's a couple of tiny ones in there uh, these are tomatoes i believe and then we have some marigolds didn't realize so many were going to come through but yeah this porch is really good because we have the two windows it's white walls at the top so it reflects a lot of light and then we have uh, the radiator so the heating comes on if it gets below 17 degrees I think I want to say so it, it stays at 17 degrees in the porch and now into the garden Still a lot of work to do, but I'd like to show you the progress I've made so far. Let's just go in. So if you'd noticed, we have the recycling bins at the back with some compost and supports ready for the green beans, French dwarf bean and some tomatoes along the back. Uh, this is a big change. We've got a little greenhouse I did have a clear plastic cover on it to start with, but that was ripped to shreds, so I've bought a reinforced green one. Down the side we have my sand pit for my pumpkin seeds, and then over here we have the recycling bins for carrots, parsnips and onions. If we pop our head into the greenhouse, I have a few uh, pots of potatoes planted, I have my earlies and my second earlies, Duke of York's and Nicola 
ready and all those pots are for more potatoes to go in the ground in the next few weeks. Got my bags of compost still, all this needs to be tidied and we're going to put another water butt on the shed here, just a hundred litre one. And yeah, just one more change to the garden, that's to show you the pretty solar lights that we have along the back. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next catch up where hopefully everything will be planted waiting to grow this summer.